Good evening friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Coding Technologies. In this video lecture, I would like to discuss about the Virtuosa coding questions that were asked recently that was held on 8-7-2022. If you observe the input format, in the first line, the user needs to enter the integer as an input which indicates the size of an array. For example, if the user enters the size as 5, array size will be 5. In the second line, the user needs to enter the array elements. So in the second line, the user needs to enter 5 values because the size of the array is 5. For example, if I take 5, 6, 7, 0, 9. These are the array elements. What is the output format? So, we need to return the array which moves the zeros to the end of the array. That means that we need to remove all the zeros and put all the zeros to the end. The output will be 5, 6, 7, 9 and finally 0. This is the output what we are expecting. Let us understand this with a sample test cases. In the sample test case 1, the size of the array is 4 and the array elements are 5, 0, 7, 6. So in this we are having 1, 0 between 5 and 7. So we need to move this 0 to end. That means after 6 we need to put 0. That's why the output will be 5, 7, 6, 0. And in the second sample test cases, the size of the array is 5. The array elements are 3, 2, 1, 5, 6. So there are no zeros in the array. So we need to print as it is. Whatever the array is given, that array will be printed as output. This is the actual logic between these inputs and outputs. So let us apply the same logic in programming. Firstly, I need to remove this and I am using Java as my programming language. So in Java, the first statement is we need to create class and name of the class is virtuosa1. Virtuosa, here T is missing. Virtuosa 1. In the next statement, we need to create public static void main function. Public static void main function. It will take string as an parameters. String args. Sorry, ARGS. String args. Then after that, we need to take one integer input which indicates the size of an array. So, if you want to take any input from the user in Java, we need scanner class because in scanner class only we are having different functions to take different type of inputs. The scanner class is available in util package. That's why I'm importing that util package into our program. Otherwise, it will get an error. Import Java dot util dot star after that i'm creating object to the scanner class because we are using the functions that are available in scanner class by using that object only that's why i'm going to create one object to the scanner class scanner sc equal to scanner sc is the object name sc equal to new scanner of new scanner of system dot in system dot in Next, by using that object, I'm going to take one integer value which indicates the size of an array. In n equal to sc dot next int of next int. After taking the size of an array, I'm going to create one integer array which is used to store all the array elements. Int arr equal to new int of size is n. After that, I am using one for loop which is used to take array elements continuously up to n times for in i equal to 0, in i equal to sorry, in i equal to 0, i less than n i plus plus. Why I am taking i value is 0 because the array indexes are starts from 0 only that's why I am taking i value is 0. Next one, we need to insert the elements to the array. So, array of i equal to c dot next int of. After taking all the elements into the array, 
we need to arrange the array in such a way that all the zeros will be printed at last for that i am taking one more array int arr1 equal to new int of the size of the new array is also same as the old array because the elements in the array will be same but the places will be shifted that's why the size of the array is same and after that i am using one for loop to iterate each and every element in the array for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus in this for loop i need to check whether the uncounted value is 0 or not if it is if the uncounted value is not 0 i am inserting that value into the new array otherwise i just keep move on that's why i am checking if arr of i not equal to 0 not equal to 0 if the uncounted value is not equal to 0 then we need to push that element into the new array that is called as array 1 so array 1 of index at what index we need to insert the element so initially the index value is 0 we need to declare it here in index equal to 0 so array 1 of index index equal to array of i if this condition is satisfied the next index will be encountered that's why i just incremented the index value so index equal to index plus one index equal to index plus one in the next iteration the index value will be incremented if this condition is satisfied the array of index value will be incremented and the value will be inserted in new index after completion of this for loop after that i am using another for loop to check whether there is any zeros or not if it is zero um, to check whether uh, any zeros or not if there is any zeros we just move to last that's why i am using another for loop for int i equal to index why i am taking i value as index because if there, is, there are any zeros available the index value will be less than n minus 1 that's why i am starting with index i less than n i plus plus i just simply make arr of Sorry, arr 1 of i equal to 0. That's it. Our task is done. After completion of these steps, I just simply print array elements. For that, I am using another for loop for int i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. In this, I am just simply printing each and every element by using system dot out dot print system dot out dot print of arr one of i plus space why i am giving space so for our convenience for better understanding of our convenience i am giving space for each and every element it will be better for us to understand the program well just save the program I am saving the file in C drive. Then file 12. Then to sa one dot Java. But to sa one dot Java. I just then open command prompt in order to execute the program. CMD. Then change the directory to C drive. In C drive, we are having a folder called Fight 12. Change the directory to Fight 12. In Fight 12, we are having a file called Virtusa Java. We need to compile that program in order to check whether there is any errors in our program or not. So I am giving Java C file name dot Java. File name is Virtusa Java. Virtusa Java. 
exactly it is compiling the program here we are observing that inca incompatible types it cannot be converted to int sorry i need to give int arr here i am giving int arr1 we need to give square brackets that's why it will get an error let's recompile it once here we are observing that there is no errors in our program just clear the screen then maximize then run the program once java file name file name is virtusa1 he is missing it is asking for input i am giving 4 then 5 7 0 6 I am expecting 5760 as output. Let's check whether it is executing the same or not. Here we are observing that the output is same as what we are expecting. Let us run one more test case. I am giving 6 as my input. I am giving 3, 2, 1, 6, 7, 0. In this, we are having 1, 0 which is already at last so we are expecting the output as 321670 that is same as the actual array what we are given let us check whether it is executing the same or not if it is executing the same our program will works fine otherwise our program is not correct at all the situations so here we are observing that our program works in all the situations i hope all of you understand the program well if you like the video then like else dislike the video that will help me a lot to improve my teaching skills if you are having any doubts please comment it below i will try to clarify your doubts thank you all